but FIFO and LIFO all almost same but while taking your issue then we have to do small changes again you cannot go back you need to scratch from october 15 to 25th again you need to draw new table 10 cages were damaged or as shortage now we consider that as issued can you issue in the box number one yes can you issue complete 300 no hello everyone this is your other sir Lecturing with the Ashram Facilitate College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in the session 8 of your topic called Cost Accounting. Under Cost Accounting, we are doing the chapter, it is Material. In Material, we are doing topic called LIFO and FIFO. Now, so whatever we are discussing today, it is all about your FIFO. Once you understand RS, if you are good or understand better in FIFO method then it will be easy for you to do LIFO. Now LIFO is easy but FIFO and LIFO all almost same but while taking your issue then we have to do small changes reverse it will be. Now what will be your agenda? Agenda is very simple first we will understand the concept you already understood then we'll go for problem on FIFO. Now, so your problem number three, problem one and problem two along with one example problem we have completed. Now we are in problem number three. As per this, from the following details, prepare a store ledger account on first in first out method. Now, as per this 2008, all the information what we have that is for 2008 in this. We have September 1st, September 5th, September 20th, October 15th, October 25th, November 1st, November 15th as well as November 25th. Now, as per this, opening stock 100 kg at rupees 5 per kg. What is your opening stock? 100 kg at rupees 5 per kg. Then. Your September 5th, you have purchased 500 kgs at rupees 6 per kg. They have given value as well as unit. As I told you, if it is a receipt or opening balance, they will give you quantity with value. If it is a issue, they will not give you value. Why? Because whatever information we have in the balance, that only we will consider. Then. On September 20th, there is an issue of 300 kg, 15th 200, 25th again purchase, November 1st issue, November 15th issue and November 25th there is a purchase of 200 units. Now, as per this we have an adjustment. On 30th September stock verification revealed shortage of 10 kgs remember if there is a shortage if there is a shortage what we should do now there is adjustment on when 30th september always remember if you are doing fifo or lifo problem read complete problem read complete problem so that you will not miss out anything in this in this after September 20th, in between, you have to look at that adjustment. Why? Because it has happened on 30th September. Now, September 20th onwards, before you go to October 15th, you should carry this adjustment. Do that adjustment, then you continue for October 15th. Clear? Now, what happens? In your examination, what you will do without reading complete question, you know FIFO very well. So what you will do? You will do September 1st, 5th, 20th, October 15th. You do complete problem. But later, you found adjustment on 30th September. Again, you cannot go back because everything is cumulatively balancing. Now, Again, you cannot go back. You need to scratch from October 15th to 25th. Again, you need to draw new table. For that is the reason. Check is there any adjustment. 
see on what date adjustment happened later you can continue your problem now remember if there is any theft shortage pilferage in these cases you have to consider these as issue theft means issue shortage means issue clear yes so we'll go for the problem now first september total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 total we have nine transaction will go one by one now i'll don't take much time because in the previous session i took much time and explained you the concept directly i'll go with the answer what is your job you have to prepare a column along with me and you have to do problem now please take a screenshot of this problem now so we have done with your question part now it is your solution again i'll go out of the screen please take a screenshot as well as pause the video and draw columns so hope you have done now you have prepared a column as i told you name of the material bin number code number store ledger account fifo method maximum level minimum level as well as reorder level or ordering level so these are the fixed you have to copy every time once you are done with that we can continue with your problem now what is the first one you know the format date receipt issue balance under receipt you have quantity rate value quantity rate value as well as quantity rate value normally some problem they will give it in units some problem they will give it in kgs we'll see in this problem so they have given kgs that's why we have mentioned it is in kgs if the problem talks about units you have to mention instead of kg you have to mention units now what is the first one september 1st opening 100 kgs at rupees 5 september 1st In your final column, 100, value is 5, it will be 500. Your first one is done. Clear? Clear? Yes, we'll go for the next one. Second one, September 5th, purchased 500 kgs at 6 per kg. Purchased, what is the date? September 5th, purchased. September 5th. 500 kgs purchased at rupees 6 per kg. Now, 6, it will be how much? 3000. Go to your balance column. Copy the old balance 100, 5, 500. Then it will be 500, then 6, then it will be 3000. Any doubt up to this? No doubt. Next close this this is done next again you have september 20th issue of 300 september 20th issue of 300 how to go for that you have two boxes box one box two which box you should touch first first box you have to open box number one how many units you are issuing 300 now out of 100 we will take 100 and 5 rupee it is 500 out of 500 you take 200 into 6 and it will be 1200 why we have taken 200 means total should match 300 remember this this 100 we have taken from this and this we have taken from this so these lines in your examination not required only for your understanding purpose i am writing this now so 100 you have used out of 500 you have used 200 what is the balance you have 300 value will be 6 it will be 1800 any doubt up to this up to this no doubt now this is done i'll go to next one September 20th over, what is the next one? October 15th. Before that, I have an adjustment. Shortage of 
10 kgs. What I should do now? In this September 30th, there is a shortage means issue. Out of 300, I'll take 10. What is the value? 6. It will be 60. What is the balance? It will be 290. It will be 6 rupee. It will be 1740. Any doubt up to this? 10 kgs were damaged or as shortage. Now we consider that as issued. 10 into 6, it is 60. 290 into 6, 1740. Any doubt? No doubt. Now I'll come back. September is over. Come to October 15th. They have issued 200 kgs. What is the date? October. 15th. Number of units? 200. October 15th. Out of 290, they have issued 200. What is the value? 6. It will be 1200. Balance is 90 and the value is 6 and it will be 540. Any doubt up to this? 9, 6 is 54. So 90 into 6, it will be 540. Any doubt? Stay. Right now, we have only one box. 90 into 6, it is 540. Now, I'll go back. So, up to October 15th over. Now, we are doing October 25th. They have purchased 500 at rupees 5. So, October 25th. So, how much? 500 multiplied with 5. It will be 2,500. I'll go back to your question. We'll confirm. October 25th, 500 units at 5 rupees. It is correct. Now, what was your old balance? 96,540. Now copy that. 96,540. And the new purchase, 500 into 5. 2500. So your old box as well as new box we copied. Clear? Where did you get the 90? Your previous slide. Clear? Yes. Now, so October 25th over, November 1st, issue of 300. November 1st, now, November 1st, issue of 300. Can you issue in the box number one? Yes. Can you issue complete 300? No. You can issue up to 90 into 6, 540. Remaining is 210 into 5. It will be how much? 1050. Hope you got. How come you got 210? I'll show you the working note. So it will be you need 300 minus 90. 90 already we have taken. So it is a balance, it is nothing but 210, clear, yes. Now, so your balance 90 we have used, out of 500 you have used 210, so answer is 290 into 5, your answer will be 1450. 1450, now. So up to this we have completed. So up to November 1st we have completed. Two more to go. So you have November 15th as well as November 25th. November 15th we have 200 kgs. I'll come back. November 15th. Now November 15th 200. How much you have? 290. So take 200. What is the value? 5 rupee. It is how much? 1000. Balance 90. Value 5. It will be around 450. Any doubt up to this? Easy or very easy? Very easy. I'll go for the last one. Your last one is number 25th. Purchase 200 kg at 4 per kg. Now, Purchase November 25th, 200 kgs at 4. It will be how much? 800. In the balance, you have to write your old, 
you have to write your new it will be 200 into 4 it is 1000 your answer is 1450 only at the end we will total we will not total your quantity we will not total your number of uh, value rate of unit rate per unit clear yes this is all about your problem number three hope you understood so in this the major thing is your shortage the shortage what we should do we should ca calculate are considered as issued in case of anything pilferage or uh, theft comes then also, then also you have to consider it as issued hope you understand I'll go to all the slides you can take a screenshot this will be your problem your solution part one means up to October 15th we have done remember the September 30th is your adjustment entry so this is your second part RS the remaining part so this is all about your today's session. We done with one complete problem. And you also done with me only. I hope so. So that you understood better. So thank you. We'll meet in the next session.